Hello everyone. So this video is pretty much going to be every single TikTok that I have made in the year 2023. This video is pretty much going to be every single one of them. It's going to have all the ones I have taken down, all the ones that I only had up for a certain amount of time. It's not going to have stories, but it's going to have all the videos in it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. It's going to be every video. Oh, and by the way, that one violation post is not going to be on here. Okay, I'm just gonna pause my uh, YouTube right here, leave the room for about two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna come back in and watch for. Oh, that's weird. Never had that happen before. Is our house haunted or something? I was already out of room for two minutes. How did the TV turn off? I have like the absolute dumbest idea. <laughs> So, I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a Chromecast with Google TV. I have, like, the dumbest idea. <laughs> Maybe you trip my parents? <laughs> I should just name it Roku and see what they think. <laughs> also... <laughs> Oh no, we have an HDMI input named Roku, <laughs> and it pulls up here. <laughs> of course, I just had to do that, <laughs> just to see what you all would think. <laughs> Since, you know, Roku is one of the biggest uh, companies that make streaming devices. <laughs> so some of you might already know this, but tomorrow is actually my birthday. Yeah, it's on a Monday, and it's on the 23rd, if you're wondering. However, I think I have a pretty cool birthday, let me tell you why. Okay, so it's January 23rd. 0, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> anyway, I'm also kind of wondering, Seabass from Bigelin's videos, what is his birthday? Because he's saying it's today, but does he mean today isn't our time or today isn't tomorrow's time? I don't know. So I made an interesting discovery today. So I was playing around my, uh, my remote control collection here a little bit. Um, you haven't probably seen this in forever. And I grabbed the, uh, the one that goes to the Panasonic TV. And, like, this is my uh, TV. It controls the volume by my sound bar. <laughs> and the sound bar is an LG. <laughs> so I figured, okay, let's try a, uh, let's try a weird one. <laughs> and then I try this. And it controls the volume too. No, nothing else in this room, no anything. So then I figured, wait, this is an LG sound bar. Does it work as a Samsung remote? Let's try that. Since so I don't call it a Samsung remote my collection, I'm just going to steal one for the family room. <laughs> don't worry, I'll put it back after. <laughs> How does this happen? <laughs> Vizio? <laughs> it controls the TVs. Also controls the sound bar. <laughs> Any LG remote? Do I see this right? Come on, I just want to watch Balin. I don't want to have to sit for four hours and three minutes before I go on to Balaam. What what is going on? I, I can't sit for four hours and three minutes. Well, it happened again. The four hour ad. Well, at least I'm in a better area now. You forgot, didn't you? I have two others. <laughs> okay, at least right now I'm watching YouTube. <laughs> they all have Balin on them. <laughs> They're all Balin. <laughs> okay, of course I'm in Mayo right now instead of Target like last time. And every single store is worth study me of their theirs whenever they see me. And of course, knowing me, you probably know what's about to happen. Okay, now obviously I don't do all of them at the same time. So I have to figure out which ones. So yeah, let's figure it out. And let's start over here. 
Okay. That's number one. I did turn that one on, but that one's broken, so... Yeah, just turn it right back off. And of course there's no one over there. Perfect. Of course, I had to do another one. And of course, there's no one around, so let's go ahead and do some of these others. Okay, both videos. Okay. Leave those on. So we have two of low, one of low, one of low. Wait, I have a better one. I think that's enough? Hmm. I think I should do at least one more. Okay. Still not enough. Ooh, another video. <laughs> okay, now I've probably turned off a couple of those TVs. Eh, hold on. Seems about right. Actually, since I have so few, I'm going to turn off probably a couple more. Okay. Yep, we should be good now. <laughs> as few as I have on. <laughs> Now time to leave. They won't expect it, will they? So here's something really crazy. I'm setting up a whole the whole whole Wi-Fi system in our house. I factory reset this Linksys brand router. And look at what it says on the TV. <laughs> Asus? <laughs> so as you know, tomorrow or today if you're seeing this on April first, is April Fourth Day. Do you have a friend or family member that's addicted to TV and you need a good prank to pull on them? Well, I'm going to show you what you need to do. So first of all, you need to go and get the TV remote and go into the settings. Then, once you're in the settings, you need to go under the picture settings. Now what you need to do is you need to find a setting that's called color. Please take note of what it is at currently. Then, what you need to do is, as you see that I'm doing, I play it all the way down to zero. Now you're for sure gonna wonder why the thing is in black and white. <laughs> but also someone like me that knows quite a lot about uh, TVs, as you can see. It's a very good thing prank to pull on people if you know how to use their TVs. Or if they're addicted to TV. Yeah, go ahead and try that out and tell me what the results are. <laughs> so, I have something to say. First of all, Baylin's going on tour. And this is what I saw on the TV. <laughs> When I watch this newest video. Now you might think, oh wait a second, what is what is going to happen with me? Well, I'm going to one of them. I'm not going to say which one just yet. But I'm going to one of them. And some of you might think, oh, it's with the intention of meeting Balin again. That's not the main purpose of why I'm going. My main reason why I'm going is because you're going to find out which one I'm going to later. But I'm going to one of them. With the intention to see if any of you guys that go the same one as I do, if you go it, know who I am. Because I remember Balin's last show he did, everyone knew who I was. Oh, and by the way, my chances of being a Bayer are pretty high. What is it being? Because you got the Bayer great tickets. This is what <laughs> my mom's April Fool's prank is going to be, at least the one I do on her. Right, let's just go to our room real quick. Alright, what we need to do is switch this out with this. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and take this one out and put that one there. So I switched out her TV with this tiny one. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Or after I wake up, because it's already April 1st. I just put her other one in my room, which is really mine, but I just let have it in her room. <laughs> You know, like, the perfect prank they should do on a cat. So, that's her favorite toy, right? Well, you know, see those two balls. She likes the outside one more. So why not we just take the outside one and put it on the inside one? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be so confused. <laughs> hey, kitty, kitty, you wanna play with your favorite toy? <laughs> Y'all yeah, play with it? Let's just see what she does. She knows something is up with it. She knows something is up with it. <laughs> Here, let me help. 
she knows something is up with her. She apparently doesn't want the thing. <laughs> oh, now she's back at it. <laughs> yeah, she was definitely confused. <laughs> You thought this was a still image, right? <laughs> well, I got you though. <laughs> I guess this is time to uh, watch some TV or well, YouTube on the TV. <laughs> why is it? Why is that here? We should be okay now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and. Who keeps on putting this garbage here? So. Over the next few videos, is gonna be a TV showdown. You wanna see the contend the contenders? First off, a Roku TV. One of the most popular types of TVs nowadays. I see these things everywhere. And we are comparing it to... A Vizio. I've had the worst luck with these newer Vizios. I've seen so many of them with issues. I've even complained about them so much. I don't like these. I hate these things. But we're going to see over the next few videos. We're going to see which one out of these two is overall better. I'm, I'm going to, I'm right now, I believe the Roku TV is going to win all of these. So let me know which one you think is going to win. A Roku TV or a piece of trash? Okay, we're going to do a comparison. Which one restarts faster? Vizio or Roku TV? Okay, that's kind of a little bit of a comparison, but... Let's see which one starts up faster. Vizio is on top, Roku is on bottom. But let's see, see which one gets to the home screen faster. See which one gets to the home screen uh, faster. Okay, Roku just got to the home screen. Vizio? We're still waiting. And I did that one even just a second after. What? <laughs> We're still waiting. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, okay. <laughs> Due to the amount of controversy the last video got between the comparison between these two TVs restarting, I'm going to redo it. This time, I have timers. So good to see which one we starts first. Or faster, actually. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop them as soon as the thing gets to the home screen. As soon as it gets to the home screen. Actually, I have a feeling Roku TV is going to up here in just a sec. Twenty seconds. How long are we going to wait for the video? <laughs> Forty. Okay, which TV is going to go to Tubi first, the Roku TV or the Vizio? Okay. Now, Prime Video. Vizio again, I have to press the button twice. I don't understand Vizio. <laughs> you know, first one twice on Vizio, we can be still a slight bit faster. I would say about around the same time. Now for the last one on this video, Pluto TV. Gonna see what happens. I press a Vizio one twice just to make sure I will get in. That's surprising. Vizio got to the radio first, but the bottom one got to the TV first. <laughs> hey, let's listen to the radio. Let's open up I Hope Radio on both of these and see what happens. As expected. Come on, Vizio. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing?
in. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora, anyone? <laughs> Let's see what happens. The one I bought was side dead, so it's ultimately gonna take long to light away. Amazon Music user? Spotify, you owl luck. Vizio don't have you. Trying to open up YouTube and search something up on the on. Urban Vizio Dumbcast TV. Waiting. <laughs> oh, let just some random. <laughs> I didn't even type a lot when I typed it. I was looking. You should know who this is. Okay, so I'm at Airbnb rental house right now. And good thing I brought my Apple TV with me. So you know all the complaints I had on Vizio? I did not want to have to use the apps on these stupidly slow TVs. I hate you. Well, guess what happened? Wally Loud, notice my video again. <laughs> oh yeah, I figured, oh yeah, it's cleanup day. Let's just go ahead and throw away some trash. Oh, good now. All right, so there's two choices here. They are both the exact same. Which one do I choose? They're both the same one. I don't know. I don't know which one is why I expect me, a person that knows a lot about TVs, to not have an odd TV, right? One. I took a screen off of this broken one, <laughs> and now it's... A white screen so TV. this time we are going to try to reboot a uh, 2018 video, so we'll see kind of what happens here. Alrighty. So, I hit OK on the reboot, and go see how long it takes you. That's if it even reboots in a time period. <laughs> Last time I did this, the TV literally took five minutes to start up, so we'll see what it does here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 2018 Vizio. By the way, it's... Mm -hmm. Gonna see what, what it does here. <clears throat> okay, we are still waiting. And we are 37 seconds in. <laughs> Hopefully it comes back on before the... <laughs> video ends. <laughs> Okay, now we're on this loading. Uh, okay, what what is it doing? <laughs> okay, video's over, so. Okay, time to do the old Ovoku TV. So let me just and then, uh, do that real quick. So on this does. <laughs> I have much higher hopes for this one than the Vizio. Yep. Much faster than both videos. Okay, we're kind of doing a TikTok collaboration here, so shout each other out, so. Shout out to It's Your Man Van. <laughs> so, we're shouting each other out, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it for this one. Probably move this in a few days as I usually do with all shout out videos.
<laughs> you thought, right? I got you this time. <laughs> okay, so look at this garbage Vizio TV. It's not on. See, look, nothing. So come over here. Go to the remote control for the Roku. Turn that on. Go ahead and do a couple of things on here. This is probably a TV. Let's just turn the volume down like that. Let's see if the Vizio turned on. <laughs> I didn't even try to touch it! <laughs> okay, TV unboxing time. Today we are gonna unbox this Vizi Up O 24 inch TV. So I already cut the tape open. Let's go ahead and pull out the styrofoam and we'll see what we got. If I can styrofoam out of the box easily. Okay. Uh, did I get scammed? Where's the TV? I paid $350 for this junk. And it doesn't even come with the TV. Well, it's okay. I hate Vizio anyway. At least the newer TVs. Old Vizios are good, but LG all the way. I thought I would like you, but you're absolutely terrible. You're absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I thought I would like you, but you're absolutely terrible. You are trash. This is a remote control to a TCO Roku TV. Now, I don't know if you know this, but the back panel of these remote controls is actually not black. Rather, it's a very dark purple. Here's proof. Regular Roku remotes don't look like this. The entire front of it is black, but the entire back of it is the purple color. Yeah, pretty neat, isn't it? <laughs> the Easter egg that TCL puts in the Roku remotes. Hey, here I am meeting some of my fans in real life. I have a question. What is the difference between this and this? Oh, wait! They are the exact same thing. Um, okay, YouTube. What are you doing? What is this question? <laughs> what is this question? <laughs> Okay, YouTube this is crazy. Okay, I'm sorry. But Vizio? With the mistake TVs that they make with all these issues, at least know that they have six streaming service buttons on the remote control. Unlike four on the Roku ones. But the problem is, the top three services is what people care about. The bottom three, no one cares about at all. <laughs> I think Spotify is messed up. Okay, so this is the Oak Lemonade playlist that's right here. Well, look at what happens when I click on it. Something doesn't look right. Let's try this again. Hold on, hold on. Click on the Oak Lemonade. It's by the Oak Lemonade, the music video company. Let's try this again. Uh, that does not look right. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Stop it with your Summer Smash playlist. I don't want the Summer Smash playlist. I just want the Leon Gallimane playlist. Stop it with this. I did not say Summer Smash. I said the Leon Gallimane playlist. Not the Summer Smash playlist, which, yes, I know Summer Smash is Leon Gallimane, but stop it. <laughs> stop it, Spotify. What are you trying to do? Give me Summer Smash nonsense? Yeah, you Yo, we have Summer Smash with it. We with Devin right now. Hello. 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 Connected my friend's phone to the game room TV and said it was the living room one. Okay, let's see what he does. Living room. Upstairs? Yeah. Oh, no. I 
<laughs> just joking. It was a back room. It was a back room. <laughs> Okay, so I figured since Bayla the Bay is starting tour real soon, I figured I might as well do a little recap on what what's going on here <laughs> with me. Okay, so yes, I am going to one of the shows. Of course I would be. Why would I not be going to one of them? So I'm sure it's going to be really fun. <laughs> now, I'm a, I'll announce which one I'm going to. Real soon, within, like, the next two weeks. Because the first one is on July 12th. I'm gonna announce it before that, don't worry. Which one I'm gonna be at. But I am going to one of them, of course. So, yeah, we'll just definitely have to see what happens. I just want to touch up a little bit on here. And I'll probably provide another update prior to actually going to it, so. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm not worried if I meet Balin again, because that's not the main objective here, but... It may happen, who knows? <laughs> okay, so if you just saw my live, you know I just revealed the Bailin show I'm going to. Of course, if you're in it, you know I'm going to the Chicago one. So, this is the reveal for all the ones that unfortunately were not able to see my live. I. At least now you know all, the, now all of you know which one I'm going to. Hopefully I'll see you all there. Hey, for all the unlucky ones that didn't get the guess the right one, well, don't worry, there's other chances that you will get to have a follow back or to potentially meet me in the future. Who knows? Hey, I need all of you all to go ahead and follow the person that I have tagged in this video as we have started a YouTube channel that I need you all to go follow. I will actually put the YouTube channel in the link tree l later, but we started a YouTube channel. He needs a thousand followers to be able to go live with me. So, yeah, just all I wanted to say here. Who is he? Motherfucker, I'm him. I know you been tense. I know we ain't had a conversation in a minute, but you know what they say if it ain't broken, no one's going to say something. Yo, you're dope. It's still making noise, but you can't see squat. Of course, if it's about a TV, you know I'm gonna come and say something. So first of all, yes, the symptoms that your TV is having it was, is that there's no picture yet there's still sound. So usually, immediately then, I think of two things. Bad part with the screen itself or part with the backlight. In your case, I think it's a backlight issue. Here's how I know that. So, there's a trick that you could use. And it is, you take a flashlight, and you point it at your TV screen like this. Of course, with the lights off. Alright, so if you take a flashlight, you point it at your TV screen like this. Now, this one's off, so you won't be able to really see anything. But if you point your screen like this, and you see, like, anything on there, you know your backlight's so bad. And that's a trick that I've used on so many people's TVs when they say that they have backlight issues. However, in your case, I already assumed it's backlights. Let me show you why. 
So here's your TV. <laughs> now, you notice how it's darker at the top, like that? Here's another video. You can definitely see it is darker at the top here. <laughs> like right here, you can see it's darker at the top. And here's another video. You see, down here, you can see everything just fine, but up here, it's darker. So your backlights on your TV were already going out. <laughs> as the entire top half of the screen was darker. And of course, when that happens, if the backlight on your TV goes out, like that, <laughs> if half of them go out, it puts the other ones into overdrive mode, meaning that the other ones go out faster. So really, at this point, the only other option I would say is to have the TV take into a repair shop and have the backlights replaced, as that's what they're going to have to do to it. I mean, if you really want to fix it yourself, you will have to remove the LCD panel, which I wouldn't recommend you do a TV that big by yourself, because the fact is that you can break it very easily. However, let me show you a very common reason as to why backlights go out so quickly on most TVs. So most people don't know what they think they'll do with their TVs. And you see this backlight saying is right up here. Most of the time, that is maxed out. If your backlight saying is maxed out like that, it shortens the life of it. Which does things you dark spots similar to this. So my recommendation for the backlight is if you are using it on standard content, not high dynamic range, you put it at 50, and for high dynamic range content, you put it at 75. As if you have it maxed out like that, you get those dark spots, which then also puts the other backlights into overdrive, and then they all go da out and your TV goes out completely. Now, if you are going to replace route, and you want to replace a TV, stay away from them, please. You already got that. Go for LG and Samsung or Sony. Okay, Yeet Mix? Okay, let's, let's see what we got, uh, as the description. A, like, HF Spy Fire plays, Tech, uh, HF Spy Fire playlist, and this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> What is this Spotify? Yes or no, look at it. 50 inch, because that's all I can fit. I can only... Okay, so... You probably already know I had to come out here and say something. So, of course, the TV that you are looking at is a Samsung CU7000 series. So, first of all, already, I can definitely tell you that it's a good quality TV. It's a Samsung. Samsung is a good brand. I We've had them for many years, and so we never had any issues. Now, this next part, fat doesn't know what you're using a TV for. Now, I do not know what your specific use case is. However, if you're just watching TV and mainly using it to watch TV, that TV should be perfect for what you're using it for. If you're using it mainly to play video games on a PS5 or a Series X, or even on a PC for that matter, you're going to want to spend a little bit more money and get a 120Hz native refresh rate model. But, since I believe that you use it more to watch TV, that particular model should be perfect for you. Also, this is extremely important if you want your TV to last as long as possible. As soon as you get the TV, go into the settings, and turn the backlight setting down. Now, on Samsung, they the newer models have it confusing. But, this isn't the fault of the t TV, this is the fault of the them doing what they think is good. The backlight setting is labeled brightness. Usually brightness is a different setting. But I'm just telling you that as soon as you get the TV, do that. And then afterwards, go into the energy saving settings and turn off the ambient light detection sensor. Because those are dumb and stupid. And also, go into the settings and make sure the HDMI port has high dynamic range turned on. Because if it's not turned on, you're not getting high dynamic range with your Apple TV or PS5. However, if you're gaming, that particular TV does have a game mode setting, like almost all of your Samsungs do. So even if it's not native 120, which you really might not want to spend the money for a native 120 panel at this time, at least you'll, it'll be good for gaming, like, because there's a game mode setting. So yeah, hopefully this helped with your decision. If you need any help, somehow let me know and I'll be able to help you. Since I know exactly what to do. Okay, so you said that the max brightness setting for your TV is 50. However, I actually know that some TVs are like that. However, I never go by the number. So this is a Livium TV, one of the 
slightly older 2019 model of same zones that actually still has the backlight same label as backlight. And as you can see, I have it halfway. But it says 25, because this one only goes up to 50. However, I never look at that. Instead, when I said it, I said percentages. So this is 50%. Because the numbers on some TVs it only goes up to 50, on really old Samsung's it only goes up to 20 for some reason. <laughs> so, I put it around 75% just so I can show you what I mean. <laughs> and as you can see, I have it a little bit higher up now. But, since this is standard content, I put it halfway. That's just what I mean. I don't mean what the number says. I mean by what the percentage, like what the slider has. Because I was never looking at the number. And yes, like every TV in our house, I do it like this. So none of the TVs in our house have the backlight maxed out. Hopefully this kind of cleared up a little bit of confusion with the backlight. But look at this. This is the Samsung remote, and I can control the Apple TV with it. Why? So you have the question. Why is this controlling the Apple TV box? Now, of course, my TV is different. I have an LG, you have a Samsung, but same concept. It'll, I'll explain it to you. Okay, so this is my LG remote controlling my Apple TV. Why is that? Well, it's because of a setting called HDMI CEC, which means that your TV remote can control your devices. Now, to demonstrate something, I turned it off. See? It's not controlling your TV anymore. Okay, so I turn it back on now. As you can see, it's working. But it can also do something cool, like cool things. Like if I turn on my PS5, it changes a TV input. And if I change a TV input, it turns on the PS5 automatically. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice saying that you... And Samsung comes with it enabled by default. And also, please make sure you turn that setting down like I advise. Okay, you know the best thing to see on a 2010s mix on Spotify? Is a song for the 2020s? <laughs> okay. Okay, hello everyone, I'm close. You already know. <laughs> We're here with the GOAT, Devin. Tell him what's up, Devin. Tell him what's up. What's up? Yeah, up. yeah, he made it happen. I knew he was going to be here, man. <laughs> Chicago show. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Shout out to you, Devin. <laughs> hey, everyone follow Devin on TikTok, baby. Follow him. Woo! Hey, question for all of you guys. What do you hit a vape with? A hammer. A hammer. A yes, sir. That that's exactly. Oh, and what is the best fla flavor? Oxygen. Yup. <laughs> right here with the bright boys. Boys, what we don't do? We don't. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yup. Hey, hey. All of you say hey. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Yo, what's good in my gang? Hey, Stop. 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 Yeah, he's very dumb. He is him. I'm really not cool. What about TikTok? Oh boy. Yes, sir. No. Grady? What up? Cheats on all his girlfriends. <laughs> How are you? I'm, 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 I'm doing pretty well. I don't know. Nine million? No. Oh, what do we say? What do we say? Whatever you want. Oh, all right. Ready? Yo, that's pretty good. Yo. This court I love you, Devin. No, no. Will you be nice to love? Yeah, I'll be nice to love. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, love you. <laughs> Yo, boy. Everyone go follow my YouTube channel right here. Johnson Sports Memorabilia. He's <laughs> Thank you. Rock on, bro. Okay, everyone. Tag Balin Levade and literally all of his friends. We need to try and get Balin Levade's attention. But not for me. And here's why. The reason we all need to get his attention 
is because of this fan right here. His name is Lane. And this is partially the reason why, because I can tell on here that he has been going through a lot. And last year, during Baylor's Atlanta show, in April 2022, they took him there to try to get him to meet Balin, because he really deserved it after what he's been through. However, unfortunately, the mom got scammed and bought VIP resale tickets, which turned out to be regular GA tickets. And as a result, they left because the security wasn't very helpful. But the problem that I have is that the kid seems, he seems like a really cool guy. As you can tell, he is a really cool guy. He, he is, but he has definitely been through a lot. Like last year. And of course, the kid's mom is also heartbroken too. Now, here's the Facebook page if you just want to know who it is. But the main problem that I find is the security did nothing to help. They did not realize what was going on. And as a result, Balin was never made aware of this. Balin never found out about this. And as a result, we are trying to get his attention so he can make him aware of this so he can possibly do something for this family. So, like, I need you all to tag Balin, DM him, DM, like, every one of his friends, do whatever. Because this kid really deserves to meet Balin or go to his show and meet him or do whatever. To be honest, I think he deserves to be one of Balin LeVay's videos, to be honest, because of what he's been through, especially after what happened there. So, yeah, this is very important. I need you all to, like, go to the comment section, tag Balin and literally every one of his friends. Then go to, like, Instagram, DM him, do whatever. We gotta get his attention. And I was looking at the Facebook, and he seems like he's a really amazing kid, but but he's been through a lot, and I think he deserves to meet Balin after this. So yeah, do, like, whatever you gotta do, we gotta get Balin the main attention. Somehow. As always, I have literally Balin and, like, every other, like, friend of his, or every other YouTuber that does similar things tagged below, so he can get his attention. Because most of those YouTubers have contact with him. And I also feel so bad for this kid. And we all can help. Hello, Chick Tai. It's me. Hey. Hello. Hello. What's up? We're here with Hello. Devin. Hello. Devin, we love Devin. Love Devin. Love Devin. 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 Boring, 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 boring. Hey, what's up? What's up? Roll drink the grimace shake. Shut up. I think I get something in my eye. Oh, and this girl that I went to the movie theater with didn't even go to my school. Oh, I'm alive! <laughs> Where did you get to? Oh, your dog going to drop over you, right? Well, I'm... No, they go to my church. Uh -oh. You can tell. You did? Dude, that was like the lowest out of the night. You thought I was going to jump over him, right? Do it again. Do it again. On me? Bro, you guys just missed a whole run. No. 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 Hey. Hey. Yeah, hey. you're my boy. Yeah. What's your name? Devin. Devin, my boy Devin. Devin yeah. too shysty. Yeah. You feel me? Lake County Fair, man. Yeah. It was nice to meet you, my dude. Yeah, nice to meet you. Very nice, bro. Take it easy, my guy. Hey, what's up? So, so. Hey, we in the famous TV thing right now, man. Yeah. Devin. Look at little Hi, Devin. Hey everyone, stop what you're doing right now. Go to this YouTuber's YouTube channel and watch the newest video. Because I am in it. <laughs> see, this is just one of the few parts that you see me. <laughs> I'm at my local county phone now and why is the TV say no signal? There's really no point of having it being on, so uh... 
Yup. Okay, so I have something to show you guys. Here are my AirPods. Uh, one. So, wait, here. I took them out of the case, like, this blue case, so I can show you something. This is a laptop from, like, 2010. Yeah, I got a new laptop now. I, I don't use this one. This one's really old and slow. Now I think, oh, am I going to connect them to the computer? I can, but I'm not going to right now. Actually, rather, I took them out of the case. Here's why. So, on this laptop, if I put them about, like, right here... <laughs> the laptop goes to sleep mode. <laughs> you all know why that happens? So, there's, like, a magnet right here, like, on the screen, like, right here. And there's another magnet here. Yeah, now the laptop is just gay out of sleep mode. But if you put this right here... It puts the laptop in sleep mode. I just figured it out. <laughs> you know my first thoughts when I go into a friend's house and I see a massive TV. You know what I do. Yes, I know it's a still image. And here's why. <laughs> because I trick people into thinking that I met him again. <laughs> What's up? Yeah! Bitch touches me, I'ma knock her ass at home. Hey guys, this guy's so cool. Follow, follow him. Follow no, him. I am not. Yes, you are, dude. What? He is the coolest guy here, bro. I really don't know what's going on here. So I went to vacuum this person's house with this toy vacuum. There's an on-off switch on the side. Why is it not turning on? Oh wait, because there's another on-off switch on the other side. Do I really have to clean the carpet that quick? <laughs> What is this thing? <laughs> okay, this is a 50 worst strappers of all time list that someone made. Except there was a problem. I do not agree with the way they made this. So I figured, oh, let me go ahead and fix it. Okay, so I fixed the list. Here is what my version is. I think we could all agree with this. Okay, so I did a poll on Instagram about which one of these three movies I should watch first. And everyone wants me to watch Shrek first. So I... Th and the least amount of people want me to watch Cars 2 first. So I think you know what that means. Let's do it. Okay, I think it's time to... Uh, that doesn't look like Shrek. What is this? I could have swore I put Shrek in there. Let me see. What? Okay, so I looked at the poll again on Instagram. Everyone still wants me to watch Shrek. So let's do it. That's weird. This whole thing is acting weird now. Madagascar... Sandlot? <laughs> what? Pirates of the Caribbean at War's End? Pirates of the Caribbean at War's End? What? Ooh, are we getting closer because of Shrek 2 on the cover here? <laughs> Oh, there it is! 
been looking for this whole time. Okay, so my Xbox got that weird UI update now, just today. And I have a question about it. Is my Xbox still a game system? Because all I see are TV streaming apps. <laughs> well, the games. Oh, I guess that means that instead of using a controller, now I have to use the uh, media remote, which I keep in storage for so long. <laughs> I don't use it much. So yeah, is it still a game okay, system? So do any of you guys remember when I used to do the lunch videos like this <laughs> on another account called Ask Devin? Well, those videos might be coming back. Sort of. You see, I've since graduated high school, and as a result, we cannot do any more of these videos. And since then, the person that ran the account has taken videos down. But, I may be able to bring them back. In a way. Here's why. So I've asked the original person who ran the account to send all the videos to me. And if he does that, I might be able to put them all onto my YouTube. It's going to be in a format like this. No longer with multiple videos on them. So you all can still watch them if you want to. Since I know some of you miss watching the videos. So yeah. They're not coming back, but I'm bringing the videos back out possible. Okay, YouTube. Why did you make this change on some devices and not others? So I opened up YouTube on my smart TV. For like the first time in two years. And. As you can see. The text. Is on black boxes like this. So there's black boxes around the text. Making it very easy to see. That was like, oh, wait a second. Why does my streaming device not have it like that? Okay, so you see my streaming box right here. Has it like this. There's no black box around that. There's no black box around that. So when the picture is on certain scenes, it's harder to read. And I think YouTube only did it on like the older devices. And I do not know why. I do not understand this. Why couldn't they have done it on all the devices? It'll make it a lot easier to read. Okay, so I kind of need your guys' help with this. Okay, so I was going to play Wii Sports on my live. But then I realized the disc wasn't working. And if I look at the bottom of it, it's super scratched up. Now, I know it's not my Wii because it played the yellow games just fine. So that leads me to have this one question. With, like, three possible choices. Should I... Have the disc resurfaced. Do you think that will even work? Or should I just get a new Wii Sports disc? Or should I be really, really dumb and just leave it be and not play Wii Sports anymore? Which I don't want to go that well because I really like Wii Sports. So honestly, I don't know if resurfacing is going to help. I don't know the price of new t copies of it. I don't know what, what I should do at this point, so what should I do? Okay, so I already post real, so all you have to do is go to the Instagram icon, go to Instagram, tap on the Reels button, and oh look, there they are, all the videos. And I also post on YouTube Shorts too, so tap the Instagram icon, go to YouTube, then go to Shorts tab, and look. I later. really hope that the Did My Friends Meet the YouTuber thing does not happen again. And here's why. And it's not bailing this time. Rather phase rug. Don't let me be a weird one. But he's in Chicago. I don't know if you can tell on this image, but I've been watching him for a very, very long time. Ever since I was a lot younger than I currently am. And here... Oh, wait, that's not his YouTube. And you can see, if I look at all his videos here, I watch pretty much all of them. So yeah, as you can tell, up to this day, I still watch him. But the problem is, he's in Chicago. We live literally 45 minutes away from there, and I can't go. So I have no attempt to meet him. I have no way to meet him. But what I'm really worried about is what if people I know met him. It would really cause both emotional and mental issues for me if they did. Let's just hope they don't. Okay, so I have a little bit of an update on that whole thing that I talked about yesterday. So none of my friends have met him, which is actually a good thing so far in my part. Not on their part, because they probably all want to meet him. But it's to avoid making me jealous of them. However, some people are trying to troll me into thinking that they have met him. Here's how. So they're either taking his image and editing it. So they put themselves onto it like that. 
which clearly droids? You can't troll me with droids, I know that's fake. And clearly inserted images. Or they'll take the old images and inserting him onto it, which of course is not real because as you can see, he has no body. It's only his head. Fake. Or they'll send me the image from this tweet from 2017. Nice try. Yeah, just had to update you on all this. Hey, question, Samsung. Why do you make a smart computer monitor that has streaming apps on it if the computer connected to it can not only access those, but also more streaming platforms? Samsung, why are you doing this? Okay, the Xbox One game is always the Xbox One section. 360 is original Xbox. Original Xbox is PS4. But wait, we're not done yet. Let's go on the other side. PS4 has PS3. PS3 has PS2. An original PlayStation? Well, let's save that for another okay, day. Okay, so there's clearly something wrong with the Leo Columbinade website. Okay, so I'm on Leo Columbinade's blog website. Hmm. But if I just take blog out, let's see what happens. What? Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it changes it to that. <laughs> Okay, let's just see what happens when I try to type in the regular website myself. Let's see where it takes me. Uh, right back to Ticketmaster. Hey, Leo Eliminate, I do not want to buy concert tickets. What is this? Okay, I just decided to click on, like, a random ticket, like, option, and, um, yeah. You notice something wrong here? Hmm. Okay, so now all three of the thermostats are set to 69 degrees. Except I think we're missing one. Hmm. That's right, the main one! <laughs> hmm. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you seem like you're doing everything but cleaning the areas that you actually need to clean. <laughs> I know, you can get out. You can get out. There's an area. See? You got out just fine, but... There you go. There you go. <laughs> and what are you doing? Getting everywhere but the main areas? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. It's recording, guys. It's recording. It's recording. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Who are you guys? You are the. Sour Patch Lemonade Fest. Hmm. Never heard of that. Let's do some research on it. You know, the first site is always the one that gives you the most information on it. Okay. Uh. Let's see. I don't see Sour Patch anymore. Yeah, I didn't see anything about Sour Patches on that website anywhere. <laughs> How does this relate to Sour Patch? <laughs> Maybe I have better luck with images. Okay, so we have Sour Patches, everything, and then we have this. We have more Sour Patches, and then we have that. 
At least that relates to what I saw on the TV. <laughs> you know, I just thought of this, but cheesecake isn't actually cheesecake because it doesn't have cheese. What do you have to say about that? Okay, so I'm at like this amusement park inside arcade place thingy, and I found this code on one of the games. So let's see what, uh, let's see if I can play a game with it. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Let's see what I land on. Okay, let's try this game. to AM shenanigans. What way do we go? Do we go this way or do we go that way? Or can humans now just go two different directions at the exact same time? What way can we go? By the way, I noticed this in Vegas when I was there. Okay, so it has come to my attention that something is going on with my TikTok. What is going on with it? The views on the videos? Are not that high. And this really worries me. Is I'm wondering what could be going on here. Now, of course, with me having 254,000 followers, I should not have 800 views after an entire day. Because the same video I post onto Instagram Reels, because I also post onto Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Twitter, and, and Snapchat Spotlight, the Instagram Reels has 12,000 views. And I only have 22k on Instagram. But something's going on my TikTok because I have 250,000 followers and only 863 views. And this is what I also posted yesterday too, that only has a thousand. So this really worries me because I really, really like making content for you guys. So obviously something is not right here. TikTok is not pushing my videos out to you guys. So I'm kind of wondering, honestly, what should I do? Like what I should do? Should I maybe fill out a support form to TikTok and tell them that something is going on? Could we see that I'm possibly shadow banned for whatever reason? Because that could happen. Or is it a problem with TikTok entirely and other people are having the same issue as me? Because I, I don't know what's going on. This is not right. TikTok is not pushing my videos out at all to my followers. So the problem is my followers are not seeing my videos at all. Whereas on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and all those ones, my video is actually getting pushed out to my followers. So, I know obviously something is not right. And I don't know what you should do here. Should I fill out a support ticket for TikTok to see if they can possibly correct this issue? Because I don't know if this is related or not, but whenever I check my notifications, there's like no notification numbers over here. Like it says it in the corner down here, but it doesn't say it here. And I don't know if that's related or what, but something's obviously not right. So, the thing is that if I'm shadow banned, I'm gonna have to wait like a month before I post another video on here. If I fill out a support form to TikTok, who knows how long it's gonna be until they even look at it. So, honestly, I might post this video and wait like a day. And if it still doesn't get views, I'm gonna fill out a support form. Because, obviously, something is not right. And the problem is, my videos are not bad either, because the same video I posted on Instagram Reels has 12,000 views and 400 on YouTube, even though I barely have any followers on YouTube. Most of my Instagram is 22k, so... But my TikTok has 250, but very low views? What's going on, TikTok? This is your problem, TikTok, not mine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my main TikTok page, I think there's something up with it. Because I'm getting very low views on some of the videos. But I have 250k followers. And by the way, these two videos I posted like a day ago and they're identical. 875 after a day, 156, but this was on private for like a while. 1,296. After a day? Like, come on. 
I have 250k, so I'm wondering if I'm something up on my page. Because this should not be happening. So, I don't know. Should I, should I fill out support form? What should I do? Because I'm gonna post the same video that I posted yesterday on the page twice on this page after this video to see what happens. So yeah, I'm gonna see what happens if I do that. But yeah, hopefully this is not permanent because I don't want to lose all these followers. So hopefully it gets fixed soon. Okay, so some people have said that I'm shadow banned. Now what this means is that I'm getting very, very little to no engagement or views from the For You page. However, I'm kind of re-questioning this. Because the video that I made the other day, the one I posted twice, For You page, has less than 1%. However, the one I made yesterday of me talking about this, 62% for the For You page. So this is weird, because why would this have engagement for the For You page, and not the video that I posted the day before? Because I don't know what's going on here. As if I was Shadow Man, that would have no For You page engagement. And that does. So, am I Shadow Man, or am I not? We do in at 7.30? Perfect. On November 16th, 2023. But, in 15 years. What if I don't feel like Italian? Okay. This is a very important video that I was hoping to not have to make, but it's very important as I have to get this out to you guys. So, literally just the other day, I was notified that there is this TikTok page about me. Now, I'm here to tell you that this is not me, okay? This is not me. I did not make this one. As my only two pages are this one and this one. So, my main pages are Devin Dows and Devin underscore Dows. This, right here, this is not me. Now, when I watch the first video, this is what it says. Hey guys, it's Devin. This is my alt. Follow me, my main. It will be linked in the description. First of all, I do not have a third account. This right here is not my page. I do not run this account. This is not mine. Someone else made this. They are impersonating me. It's just a thing. When I go and check the following list, they only follow me. My main page. They don't even follow my backup page. As my real backup page is linked down here on every single video that I make. And this person only followed my main page. Now, this was the second video they posted. And this was today. Keep in mind, I would never say this. I would never say this. I've never once said it. I would never say this. Y'all see what this was? So the other day I did a YouTube live stream. During the live stream, I noticed that there's someone else impersonating me on here too. Look at what they said. That's right. This top comment right here. Which once again... It's not me. And when I search up my name on TikTok, it comes up with me. And this is the very second result. That should not even be there. That one right there is someone else. This is a different Devin. That's a fan page. Fan pages are okay. That's my backup page. This is a different Devin. This shouldn't even be here. This is impersonating me. That is not me. The only two pages that are mine are that one up there, and this one down here. That's it. Those are the only two pages that I operate, that I run those. Those are my pages. This is not me. I have never said this. This is not me. One proof? Tap the profile picture and make it big. It's blurred compared to mine. So if you see this one, report it, please. It's not me. Alright, so I have a little bit of an update on this page here. So they have since posted this and this. Which is what they're saying. They're saying that they're actually me. Which they are not. And then also it says unfollow and it's that. Which, that isn't 
my username. But when you go to that page, it's a fan page, so that one's just fine. Now this, and this, is mine. This, is not me. And since then, they have posted to all the videos. So, Evian, please help me here. No, so Evian, tag TikTok too, and have them have this page taken down. It is it really worries me what has happened. Oh wait, so I have a little bit of an update on the impersonation page here. So, someone noted to me that there's the fan page that I've been looking at. Yeah, the, the fan page that you probably have been, I've been talking about this whole time, this one, someone noticed something about it, and that they posted this video. Now, immediately, I was like, uh, wait a minute, hold on, this, a fan page wouldn't be doing that. So, what the hell, I looked at the page, and of course, it does have all the videos on there. Now, I was looking at this right here. This video was removed. So, now the page looks like this. But, oh, wait a second. Let's go back to that one, that they, that one video it said. Remember this? This doesn't show up on that fan page. But, I was tagged in this video. And you're like, oh, wait, Devin fan? Because this page is the one that says Devin fan at the top here. I know you don't see that, but it does. So, they figured, uh, wait a second. And I went to the page that made that video. The video is right there. But, do you notice anything about the rest of the videos? That's right, they have a watermark on them. So I looked at the uh, top here. Oh wait, they don't have any followers. I checked the following list. The following list is the exact same. The bio is the exact same. They have no followers whatsoever. I want to know the worst part? I mean, a lot of profile pictures are the same, it's the same thing at the top. But you want to know the worst part? Look at the username. Right where it says I in Devon, it's an L. So this, and this, is not the same. This is the real fan page. This is ran by the same people that made this impersonating page. And if you all see the real fan page, look it up on TikTok. It shows up. The other one doesn't show up at the very top. And plus, the real one has 20 followers. The fake one doesn't. The fake one has zero. But, otherwise, it's identical, except this, and that, and the follower count, and the like count. They follow the same people, though. And someone tried to tell me that this was the page that posted this video, until I noticed that they had no followers, and there was an L instead of an I. If you want to follow the fan page, this is the real fan page. And by the way, I only have two pages. This one? Is mine and this one is mine. I don't run any of those fan pages and I also am not the one that is making those impersonation pages. So yeah, I just had to get this out to you guys. I'll tag my other page plus that actual fan page so you can see the real one. Okay, so this video is not going to be about the impersonation pages on TikTok. This video is going to be talking about my low view issue. So I checked two different videos. This one is most of his traffic coming from the For You page. And this one is the same way. So, I don't really know if I'm shadow banned or not. So, at this point, I really think it could be one of three options. I could be shadow banned. It could be because something is going on with TikTok itself. Or it could be the result of that impersonation page trying to steal all my followers and put it onto their page. Is I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about this, because I'm not- I don't really want to quit TikTok. I'm not going to quit TikTok forever, though. Now, if I were to take a break from TikTok, it would probably be for about a month or so. And that would mean that there's going to be no new short-form content on any platforms. So, that would mean that if I were to take a break, no new short-form content anytime soon. But that would also mean taking a break from all the other platforms, too. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Now, you might think, oh, wait a second, why, why can't I just stop using this page and start over a, fresh on a new page? Well, I could do that. But no one's going to know that I did that. As I mean, I could do that, but that means I'm going to lose all my followers as on this page. And plus, no one's going to know that I'm on a separate page. Mm -hmm. 
because this page is not going to be used much, or I will deactivate it. That's how the world is too strange. But I'm probably not going to do that. So, you guys, you made it so much to me. You guys made so much to me. So, I really don't want to start over. Because if I were to do that, that would mean starting over on all platforms, too. I'm not just going to start over on one. And I don't really want to have to do that right now. <laughs> so, right now, my main focus is on two things. Trying to stop the impersonator. And trying to figure out why my views on TikTok are so low. Oh, and by the way, after the New Year's, I'm going to be making more content for you guys. On more platforms, too. So I'm expanding to more platforms for you guys. And if you notice under my link tree, I took out the other platforms found here page. Because I'm completely remodeling that page. That is going to have a whole new look after I bring it back out sometime in the next year. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys also know that there's going to be a whole bunch of new content. And a whole bunch of new platforms next year when I do start doing more platforms. I am going to contact TikTok and see what they can do about this if my views are still low and about the impersonation page because all this impersonation stuff should not be happening as I don't want to be banned again. That was a nightmare when it happened. Okay, so I feel it would be a good day to use the family room TV so I'm just going to sit down and uh, watch some TV. I swear I just saw it right there. Hmm. Hmm. No, I give up looking for it. It was there the whole time? Okay, so... 2023 is very quickly coming to an end here. And as a result... I'm going to explain some of the changes that are going to be coming up in 2024 that relates to social media and also some video game stuff. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, I have several social media platforms here. However, some platforms I'm going to start using in the new year are Threads. It's going to be used a lot. True Social is also going to be used a lot. Triller, Clapper, and Quix. Those are the main ones that I'm going to be using a lot in the new year. Now, Quix, Clapper, Triller, True Social, and Facebook. I'm actually going to put all the TikToks next year onto those platforms as well. I'll give out the usernames tomorrow when I do the funniest stuff I found this year, or best stuff I found this year, or whatever, and I do that video on TikTok tomorrow. So keep in mind, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still around. I'm still going to be here. Second thing, I am not going to be live streaming on YouTube video game stuff much anymore. And I'm not going to be streaming as often on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all those platforms. Most of the live streams I do are going to be on Twitch instead, which can be accessed through my link tree up in the bio. Third thing, profile pictures might be changed within the next couple of weeks here. Now, the fourth thing that you might notice is that I took the PS4 out of the setup. Throughout this entire year, I mainly only had the PS4 on maybe about five times to play video games this whole year. And as a result, I took it out of the setup. So, I won't be playing PS4 games very much. And then, the fifth thing is my YouTube, there's going to be a whole bunch of different type of content on there. I'm going to be making new content for you guys as well. It's going to be different type. It's going to be a whole bunch of different types, actually. It's not going to be just one type of content. And also, on TikTok, besides just TVs and, like, remote controls and stuff, I'm going to be doing other content on TikTok, too. In fact, some of it is actually probably going to be funny. Some of the YouTube and TikTok videos, as well as all these other platforms... It's all going to be really funny. I'm sure you're all going to like it. Oh, and for, like, room changes, I put, I replaced the TV on this side with a bigger one. I put that up, and that up, and that up. That's about it for the room. Well, that, hopefully you all have a good new year. New video later.
It's going to be best stuff I found this year, the funniest stuff I found this year. Okay, so this is going to be the last TikTok of the year. And usually the last TikTok is just some of the best things I found throughout the year. Now, I'm going to try and limit it this year. Like, I'm going to do, like, a minute or two of that. And then I'm going to do, like, another minute of me talking about the uh, social medias. Okay, so I'm going to do some of the funniest stuff first. So, first of all, why would I type in my YouTube channel does all this come up? Like, I, I didn't put that there. Okay, since when did they make paper towels with soap? <laughs> why is there soap on them? Okay, I have several things that have this number on them, but I'm not going to put them all up. I'm just showing you one, but, but I have several other images. Here's another one. I was at Kohl's a while back, and this is a used vacuum that I found. <laughs> Here's an old image from when I hit 100k. Just had to show you. Question. Is it a blue bird or is it a yellow bird? Oh, simple. Blue bird, not even a bird at all. It's a bus, but whatever. Hey, look, I almost made the whole thing fall white. <laughs> uh, I was at Wobber a while back. Look at this palette full of trash that I found. Yup. The TCL Voku remote control back cover is not black. It's purple. Yeah, that, that, that definitely seems right to me. <laughs> Someone asked me if I had a switch. How am I supposed to turn on and off the lights? This ancient thing still works. <laughs> hey, look, it's ugly me. <laughs> Yep. We bubble this. At least I'm not jealous of him anymore. What? What? What, do you, what even is this thing? This thermostat at the restaurant I went to recently. <laughs> uh, this Wi-Fi? Oh, whose is this? VZ. Uh oh. Dog spot at the top. And lastly, this was pretty funny. Someone told me there was a Wyoming, Minnesota. So look up Wyoming, Minnesota. Wyoming is here, and Minnesota is here. Not anywhere close near each other. Hmm. Alright, so here's a few of the new platforms that are going to be used a lot in 2024. And all the videos are on TikTok and Instagram currently will be put onto these other platforms as well. First, we got Triller. Uh, there's the username right there. This is Clapper, another short-form video uh, social media platform. Here's Quix, which is a brand new one, and see, I'm already doing pretty well on there. Here's Truth Social, and here's Threads, same as Instagram. And I also put my Twitch on here, too, because I'm going to be using this. I may see you all next year. And that was pretty much all of them. Actually, no, that was all of them. So, hopefully you all enjoyed this video, and... Who knows, maybe I'll make another one next year. Sorry, I'm watching YouTube in the background, but that's why you hear all the background noise, but yeah. Anyway, see you all in the next one. So, bye.